Zamfara State, Northwestern Nigeria. House of Vigilantes, along with government troops, are celebrating the destruction of a Fulani bandit camp. Two tribes, which have lived peacefully side by side for centuries, are turning on each other. My name is Yusuf. I am a law student and I was raised in Zamfara. My mother is Fulani. My father is Hausa. Traditionally, the Hausa are farmers. The Fulani cattle herders. But that is changing. Thousands of young Fulani have joined ultra-violent bandit gangs. Armed with AK-47s, they burn villages, abduct the inhabitants, and slaughter anyone who resists. In response, Hausa communities have formed vigilante militias to protect themselves. They too maim and mother the innocent. The ensuing nightmare has killed thousands, closed hundreds of schools, and is spreading into neighboring states. Massacres and mass abductions are frequent. But this conflict remains underreported. It's just too dangerous. So Nigeria's questions go unanswered. Who are these bandits? What do they want? Authorities in Zamfara think there are as many as 30,000 bandits out here, split into around 100 heavily armed gangs. Ado Ali recommends one of those gangs. He is one of the most feared warlords in Zamfara. The police have put a bounty on his head of 5 million naira for his role in a recent massacre. Kuka <laughs> If the bandits of Zamfara want to hurt the government, they also want to make money. In early 2021, these two aims combined in an attack that copied the tactics of Boko Haram. Nearly 300 schoolgirls were abducted from the government-run high school in Jengebe. Among them were five girls from my own extended family. One house, and Gahanya, 
duk dai wasu sun kawo kwanta nan karkashin garo sun kashi bi yace su hito ko riya halbe su sai duk sun ka hito waje this is one of the bandits who led the attack on the girls it took me 5 months to contact him and another four to persuade him to meet i eventually met abu sani deep in the forest kana cikin wayanda suka dauka yara a jange be yan mata kwarai muna cikin shi zaka iga ya muna dalilin da yasa kuka dauka yan matan nan mu ka zo mu kuma da kaka ta yi ruwa suka yi sauki aka fara turo muna jami'ai inda muke sai muka ce to bari mu goda ma gwamnati in ta shiga wannan lamarin matsala ake samu shi yasa muka zo jange be muka dauko yan makaranta tun da sun hana mu mu wuce mu zo gida dole mu kwata mata rai muka zo muka dauko yan makarantan jange be shin wani irin mutum zai shiga daki da yara yan mata suke kwance ya dauko su da dare saboda matsala da yake da wani to bari maka wani misali wanda kila shi zaka yi fahimta ne dan san an ce idan kai laifi daya za a yi maka wani digo da zuciya idan ka kara wani za a yi maka digo da haka da haka a dibe ma zuciya ta zambaki irin to wanda ke iri wadannan harukokin baya jin ya damu da duk irin abubuwan da ke faruwa saboda bushewar zuciya amma mu dai illa abun da zan ce muna ba su hakuri amma mu ba mu ji wata damuwa da irin haka ne sam saboda mu ya abun da muke gani mu yi ma gwamnati mun fata mata rai shine kawai gudu gudu san ka kama tura mara gudu mara nan mana gudu muna taka kayoyi mana nan mana gudu muna taka kayoyi yace to kun ga bokon ku ba ta da rana tun da abc da kun ka iya mun ka ce so bari za mu fada musu duk dai wasu karatu haka mun ma raga ya musu kuma sun ka ce ba su soya ga karatun boko amma dai kuma wallahi be da amfani mu bai ne mun ka nuna musu dai duk ba mu iya baran karatu tun ce ni dai sai na ci gaba da makaranta sai na ci gaba da makaranta ya ci to ya shi kuma ya sha alwashi duk an ka kuma wannan makaranta sai ya kara da in northern nigeria kidnap for ransom has become a lucrative industry a business that has helped to displace close to a million people in Zamfara alone. With the Jengebe school girls still in captivity, Zamfara's government was forced to negotiate. Da mun ce za a ba mu miliyan 300. Daga baya aka hada mu da wasu aka yi ta maganganu shine dai suka ba da miliyan 60 aka sake su. Aka suka baya miliyan 60 suka bayar aka sake su. miliyan 60 kaga miliyan 60 din da ido na mu muka karbo su to mi kuka yi da wannan kudin mun karo bindigogi ne da su the zam forest state governor denies that any ransom was paid to the bandits ina shuguwa kuma kowa ya rike ni gashi kuma ba dai tsayi da ka iya yi ba dadi ne ce ya the jengebe girls survived but the bandits are still out here unrepentant and across zamfara many schools remain closed This is a crisis that threatens the education of our children and has left all of us living in fear. <laughs>